This is a special news report from Andy's Randomness. Here now, Andy Pollock. Hello everyone, this is Andy Pollock reporting for Andy's Randomness. In a shocking turn of events, the interim president of New York City Transit, Sarah E. Feinberg, has been named by President Donald John Trump to join the Amtrak Board of Directors. This is from the New York Post. I will link it in the description below so you all can see this. I'm very shocked about this news. President Feinberg has only been on the job now for two and a half months. As many of you know, she was named by Chairman Patrick Joseph Foy back in March to replace Andy Byford, the former president, in the interim. So we're going to read this article, which I am honestly shocked about this news. So honestly... I love how it says she's getting back on track. This is written by Stephen Nelson and David Meyer. President Feinberg is going to be rejoining the board of Amtrak. So, once again, Sarah Feinberg has been the interim president of New York City Transit since March 9th. Previously, she was an MTA board member appointee of Governor Andrew Cuomo. Uh, many of you know before, well, during her time on the MTA board, she was the co-chair of the New York City Transit Committee with Andy Byford. So a little bit of a background on Sarah. She worked for um, Barack Obama. She actually worked at Facebook. And she also did work on Amtrak Sports. So, this is very interesting. I, I gotta admit that President Trump picked Sarah Feinberg. And I think, in my opinion, this is very bad timing. I hate to admit it. This is very bad timing. Because you have a pandemic going on. And then all of a sudden this happens okay uh there is a press release from the white house so let's see if the white house has a press release let's see white white house press release there we go let's see what happens if i can get a briefing that's not it no. Oh, here we go. So there is uh there is something on the White House website. Okay. All right, so let's see if it says Sarah Feinberg. Yeah, here we go. It says Sarah E. Feinberg of West Virginia to be a board of director of the Amtrak Board of Directors. Right. So it also says here that um Feinberg served as Director of Policy Communication at Facebook and Director of Global Communications and Business Strategy at Bloomberg LP. So she actually worked for Mike Bloomberg. Interesting. Oh, Feinberg Strategies LLC. Ah. All right, so she has a bachelor's from Washington and Lee University. All right, then. Okay. Oh, okay, this is interesting. So, looks like Sarah is not leaving the MTA. Okay, let's see what it says. Amtrak is a government-funded for-profit corporation. Unlike MTA board members, Amtrak directors receive financial compensation so long as they are not federal employees. President Feinberg said she would not continue... Oh, oh she would continue, excuse me. She would continue in her interim MTA role since the Amtrak time commitment is not significant. So, let's say we do get back to normal. 
It looks like Sarah Feinbrook's going to have to ride the Northeast Corridor once a month to go to an Amtrak board meeting from New York to D.C. Huh. That is very interesting. Can we look up where Amtrak headquarters are? Just for, just for curiosity, what would President Feinberg have to do? Yeah, 1 Massachusetts Avenue. Let's, um... Here's what I can do. Let's put my, um... Let's put my channel logo up. Do that. There we go. That's better. So, that way I can give you an idea. So I don't want to give my, uh information out so the address is one massachusetts avenue okay so what is the main hub of dc i'm trying to think hmm, that is very odd you know what let me look it up washington dc station Let's see what comes up union station okay there we go Just for curiosity, what would Sarah's option be if she were to come from Union State? Oh my goodness. Amtrak's headquarters is only four minutes away. Folks, let me show you this. This is funny. This is actually pretty funny. Take a look at this. You see this? This is Union Station right here in D.C. All Sarah has to do is just walk four minutes and boom, she's she's literally right there. So let's say she does take the Northeast Corridor. Just for fun. How long would it take? Oh, okay, perfect. So it would only take about four hours. Hmm. So I guess. It is possible Sarah could go from Penn Station since she does live on the east side of Manhattan. So it could be a five-hour commute just to get to D.C. Because I'm just doing this in hypothetical reasons. You know, when we do get back to normal, of course. When we do have our commuting habits coming back. So... Worst case scenario, if they have a permanent president after Sarah Feinberg for New York City Transit, the question would be, would Sarah move to Washington, D.C. full-time with her kids? See, that's a good question. You know, honestly, I, I don't know. This is her, right, this is her on the MTA website. All right. So, I think with that, we are going to wrap up this special report. Once again, thank you all very much for watching. This has been Andy Pollock speaking to you all. Goodbye. This has been a special news report from Andy's Randomness.